Tell me what's been going on with you, sir. You are hard to nail down. I'm like, where's he at now? You're kind of all over the place these days. Have you been? I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's busy. Uh, but I'm, you know, everybody thinks I'm gone all the time, and I'm not. I was actually in my garden today, out at our farm. Where are you? On my you knees. just stay hidden. I was That's dirty. the key. Is you're hidden. I love it, man. It's so fun, you know. So, but yeah, there's a. I mean, uh, you know, getting ready to cross the pond. You know, this whole COVID thing's been crazy. Wow. So yeah. kind of, you know, I did the Bocelli thing last year, but now we're going to head over twice to Europe. So I'm kind of excited about that. Mm. And then the Waymaker World Tour starts in the fall. So. Okay, World Tour, give me some insight on what that planning is even like. How does that begin? Is there like an entire room? I, I picture like maps with dots in it and strings attached and yeah, all the things. It, it's, not, it's really not all of that. It's all the, it's all the places that I've been going to for years. Okay. That's Germany, it's the Eastern Bloc countries, it's Asia, South America. I've never been to Argentina and I've always okay. wanted to go to Argentina. and. Peru and Colombia, so we're going to make a round in South America in 23. So I'm excited about that, and I'm I'm riding. I mean, I'm, I'm I kind of raised the bar so high. I don't I feel like I don't like anything, and I'm just going. Am, am I am I just losing it? Do I don't even know what I what's good anymore? You know, I've been doing this for four decades, and but you just want it to be right, you know. So, but uh, but I had a really great riding session by myself this afternoon. It's the first time I've done that in a long time. Do you feel more comfortable riding by yourself? I do, but I need to collaborate more. Okay. If there was somebody out there right now that was listening, who would you want to collaborate with? I mean, you know, well, we, a, we have country people well, too that really love you. No, Just there's saying. a lot. Of, there's a lot of people. I mean, I mean, I love Tarin. You know, Tarin was on my Worship Forever record. That was fun. I still continue to, to collaborate with Amy from time to time. Aww. I've always wanted to work with John Williams. He's my musical hero. Oh. Uh, I know that's a long shot. That but would be he, incredible. He changed my life, man. I tell you, I saw Raiders of the Lost Ark in 1981. It changed my life. Really? I saw it 20. You know, he just celebrated his I 90th know, birthday. I know. And he's still writing these amazing charts. Oh, my So gosh. I saw the movie 28 times. 28 times 20 you've seen Raiders of the Lost yeah. Ark. And I realized that, that about the 14th time going back, it was the music that was dri driving me back. Ba 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 ba. ba, ba, ba. <laughs> oh my is. gosh, that's incredible! And, and he's been my. It's his melodies. Yeah. It's the melodies, and you. In, in every movie he's done, he'll weave a melody throughout the whole movie. But it might be in a minor key. Yeah. Or it's in a, It's a. It's maybe haunted in one place, and then it's just it's brilliant to me. And so I've, I've probably learned more from him. I know a lot of people find that to be a big surprise. But he, that guy's probably changed my life more than anything in terms of musically. Yeah. I love this so much right now. But I'm also a big Star Wars fan, so you're too. speaking to my soul when I, I hear too. anything about John Williams. Listen, we're going to speak that into existence. John yep. Williams, if you're watching, Michael W. Smith would like for you to give him a call. Yes. Just call him on the phone. <laughs> Let's get something working. It's so good to talk oh, to well, you. It's good to, good to talk to you. Come